Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football. As I'm bringing you the latest transfer news in the DSTV Premiership, I'm bringing you the latest on Bongani Zungu, Tabo Tele, Ratomo, Ashley Kubiro and more. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. First player I want to talk about is Tavo Tele now. There was an article that I was reading earlier today uh, from Gold South Africa where they are saying Amazulu are ahead of KZ Chiefs in the race to sign Tavo Tele. But I can tell you now this is not true. KZ Chiefs are still expected to sign Tavo Tele. It's just I don't know what is taking so long but they were expecting to sign the player before the beginning of the season and we know the season begins tomorrow. So Tavo Tele to KZ Chiefs an announcement is imminent and it can be announced any minute now. Amazulu are not going to be a hijacking that move. Case chiefs are, are very very advanced in talks with Tavokele and his representatives and our paperwork has been prepared for that deal. Like I've been telling you yesterday and day before yesterday that paperwork has been ready by Amakosi and uh, as soon as paperwork is exchanged the player will come in for a medical. But right now uh, from what I understand Tavokele is still in the event. So maybe that's why they are thinking uh, Amazulu are ahead of the race but Amazulu are not. Even though Amazulu tried to talk to Tavokele in order to hijack the move to cases that is not going to happen. Tavokele has said yes to cases and it is expected that the player will keep to his weight and also his agent has agreed to Amakosi and now it is not even a surprise to see other clubs trying to sign a player who is a free agent and on who's been linked with another team it's not something that is happening for the first time these things always happen but it rests with the player at the end of the day cases are aware that the player is the one who's going to make a final decision but no surprises are expected when it comes to Tabakele to Amakosi so is the next big deal to be completed in the next few days or hours because uh, we know uh, Mamelu Sanas have already gotten the deal about two overs over the line now then the next big deal i think in midfield is going to be the uh tabo Tele deal now still talking about case chiefs now this may be exciting or it may not be now case chiefs are linked with ashley kubido again the cape town's best striker is linked with the move to amakos we know he has been linked with the move to mamelu saran super sport united orlando pirates and case chiefs now case chiefs are discussing internally now about ashley kubido this is coming in from sokaladuma they are saying that case chiefs are going to be looking at ashley kubido and hoping to sign the player in the last minute in this transfer window as they are looking for a proven goal scorer now we know there are concerns about about Ranga Chibavero, there are issues there. There is an injury issue that is persisting. He has not uh, been able to take part in any of their prison, ga prison games and he's not going to be available for the beginning of the new season now. All our case chiefs are aware that they need another proven goal scorer and also they know uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Caleb Benjamin Mana, there are doubts about his consistency and whether he is the right player for the team. They had decided to sell the player but now he has returned. He's going to be given another chance but they feel they need another proven goal scorer. So Ashley Kupiru to Kizu Chiefs is still a possibility in this transfer window but I'm told also Sean Bartlett is very very firm on the situation of Ashley Kupiru. He has told Cape Town Spurs that Ashley Kupiru is not for sale but if a deal comes in that they cannot resist it will happen. I, I, I remember the uh, price tag that was put on Ashley Kupiru's head was around 10 million rands. The one that was reported around May before even Cape Town Spurs qualified uh, or were, were promoted to the DSTV Premiership. So 10 million rands for Ashley Kupiru, it can get him out of Cape Town Spurs. But it may take a lot more now because the transfer window has been uh, going on for a long time now and the DSTV Premiership uh, campaign is starting tomorrow. But Ashley Kupiru to KC is a possibility. Moving on, I want to talk about Bongani Zungu. Now, we know Bongani Zungu is unhappy. He has been unhappy for a while about his playing time. And now, his playing time may be a lot more limited with the signing of Batusi Obasar. I'm told this morning, his agent is very, very unhappy about the situation. They had discussions with Mamelu Sanams. Now, Bongani Zungu was guaranteed playing time. They said they are not going to sell him under any circumstances. But now, it looks like Bongani Zungu is going to be on the bench for a lot more in this coming season, given the signing that have been made in this transfer window and the players that were used in last season still there the likes of Mkulise the likes of Allende uh, other players like Ndule Mbule and Mkwena all considered to be ahead of Bongani Zungu in the pecking order at the moment so in that midfield it is very packed at the moment the competition has just stiffened for Bongani Zungu so his, his agent is concerned that his uh, client is not going to have enough playing time in this upcoming season and Mamli Sanas do not want to strengthen a rival they are not going to be selling Bongani Zungu 
but we know we may see Bongani Zungu leaving Mamlisa Nance in the coming few days or weeks because he is unhappy and he is going to voice out his uh, concerns to the management. He has voiced out his consent into the management management before, and they told him he's going to play a lot more. And now they're signing new players. We know Rolando Mugwana is going to stick with his new signings. Every other coach, the coaches tend to do this. They stick with players that they that they signed themselves. So Rolando Mugwana has signed a few players in midfield, and those players are going to be ahead of uh, Bongani Zungu in the picking order, given what happened last season. So this is a concern for Bongani Zungu and his camp, but Mamelodi Sundowns are reluctant to sell at the moment. And still talking about Mameluri Sundowns, we expect Mameluri Sundowns are going to be letting go of uh, Erwin Siavetra. So Erwin Siavetra in the coming few days and weeks is going to be leaving Mameluri Sundowns. That is the current decision that has been made by Rolando Mukwena because he knows he has to sacrifice one foreign player this uh, transfer window. And unfortunately, that is going to be Erwin Siavetra. Mameluri Sundowns are going to be assessing options in the coming few days and weeks. We know Stelemosh FC are there uh, waiting for uh, an, an Erwin Siavetra to be available. They want the player but they have to wait for Mamelodi Sundowns to officially make that decision or to communicate that decision to them. Mamelodi Sundowns are also aware of the interest from Stellenbosch FC so it looks like Erwin Savetra may end up at Stellenbosch FC in the coming season unless there are other offers on the table because Erwin Savetra has uh, been clear on his intention. He wants to play more football this season because he wants to get back into the Bolivian national team and he will not do that on the bench at Mamelodi Sundowns so Erwin Savetra it looks like he's going to be leaving Mamelodi Sundowns so look out for that situation even Savetra unfortunately the Bolivian is going to be leaving now moving to Orlando Pirates now there are a few updates on Orlando Pirates I told you about a week ago that Orlando Pirates are currently negotiating with Kwame Pebra and his representatives about contract termination now I'm told those negotiations are advanced now and we're gonna see an announcement imminently as Kwame Pebra is going to be looking for a new club now Pe Kwame Pebra's contract with Orlando Pirates is going to be terminated in mutual consent because the player knows he's not in Jose Rivera's plans and also the club knows they cannot keep the player they waited and waited for offers to come in no one has been uh, uh, able or no one has come in with an offer for Kwame Pebra so now it is going to be a release for Kwame Pebra who is going to be a free agent in the coming few days and weeks because it's not a part of the plans most players are ahead of him in the pecking order the likes of Chopat Mombasa are considered to be very important for the future of the club which is why they don't want to sell him and also Zakir Lepasa Orlando Pirates are not going to be considering permanent transfers for him also they consider him a player who can be important for their future but when it comes to Kwame Pebra it is very very, very clear uh, Jose Rivero does not see him as a part of his plans for the present or for the future so Kwame Pebra is going to be leaving Orlando Pirates that those negotiations have been going on for a while now but there is an issue on the fee Kwame Pebra is uh, uh, is trying to negotiate for a lot more than Orlando Pirates are willing to pay but there's going to be middle ground at the end of the day because Orlando Pirates know they need to offload Kwame Pebra and still at Orlando Pirates, now Rele Willera Tomo, the youngster, we know he just had his breakthrough season last season and he was also impressive in pre-season now. The player, he's linked with a move to a Spanish team. Now that team is unnamed yet, but we'll get more details on that. The team has inquired about the availability of uh, Ratomo. Remember, I also uh, told you last week uh, that Ratomo is linked with a move to Maccabi Tel Aviv. So a few players have been impressed with Ratomo on pre-season and they will be trying to tempt Orlando Pirates to sell the Youngster, but Orlando Pirates at the moment they are standing firm, they are not going to be listening to offers for a tom. But let's wait and see what's going to happen. If someone comes in with a big money offer, Orlando Pirates may have to sell the youngster. Only uh, started playing for Orlando Pirates last season, his breakthrough season was, la was last season, but now he's attracted a lot of interest, especially in Spain. A lot of teams have been impressed with the way he has been playing in Spain during pre season. So look out for the situation of Levo Laratomo. He may be on the move if Orlando Pirates decide to sell the player, but a big money move may be irresistible resistible for the youngster. Now, moving on, as I conclude this video, I want to talk about Lyle Lakey. Now, Lyle Lakey is linked to Morocco Solos this morning under the suggestion of Steve Kombela. Now, wait, let's wait and see what's going to happen in the situation of Lyle Lakey. We know Cape Town's spares are there. Now, another option for Lyle Lakey is going to be Morocco Solos ahead of next season. We know he's facing a blink future at Mamelodi Sundowns. Mamelodi Sundowns have not yet communicated their decision on Lyle Lakey, but we know he's not a part of Rolando Mugwana's plans. So, Lyle Lakey is going to be moving on, but where to? We wait 
can see in the coming few days and weeks a decision has to be made the decision is starting tomorrow and Lila K is not a part of the plans he wants to be uh to know his new club before that but it looks like that is not going to happen Lila K will still be at Mamele Sanans in the beginning of the season but Morocco Solos are a concrete option now for Lila K we know Cape Town City are out of the race because they want to focus on developing their own players now thank you very much for watching Zanzi give me your thoughts on all of the players that I mentioned in this video especially H. Lequibiro being linked with a move to Casey Chips and also Bongani Zungu unhappy at Mamelodi Sanans and also all on other players that I mentioned and if you're new on just football kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week and also hit the like on the video